Hey guys, what's up? This is Edgemeister, and today we're back with episode 3 of Chilling with Edgemeister. So, this series, uh, I'm just going to clarify a little bit more on what this series is going to be about. It's just kind of whatever I want. This time it's a post-commentary. I haven't done one of these in a while. But uh, I'll be doing live commentary, solo live commentary with people, post-commentary, solo post-commentary with people. Um, it doesn't even have to be from Halo, it could be from Destiny, it could be from Pokemon, it could be from freaking like, I don't know, chess. <laughs> I should just do one of those, a, a, a chess gameplay. It could be just a vlog of me walking around town, I don't know, it could be anything. And I just talk about talk about anything. There's no rules, I could have somebody on here more than once. Um, I could do Forge things, I don't know, I could do whatever I want. That's kind of what this series is going to be about. Series. Series. And uh, yeah. So I'm going to talk a little bit about um, my past experiences with YouTube before Edgemeister. Just kind of going on a nostalgic journey back in time. So uh, Edgemeister slash Edgemister, depending on how you say it correctly, Edgemister, or say it the way I say it, Edgemeister, it doesn't matter. Say whatever you want. People have called me Edgeminister. People have called me Edgemaster. <laughs> Yes, people have literally called me Edge Minister. Anyways, uh, that's not what this video is about. This video is about talking about my YouTube channel before this. So if you didn't know, I had a YouTube channel before Edge Meister, and uh, it was Heart Gold Fifty Seven. Now, I originally made the uh, the channel to comment on videos, and then uh, I completely forgot I had it. And one day, I was just watching. I think it was like the Halo Forge epidemic and a mixture of that and Chimney Swift 11 and they kind of inspired me to do uh, Minecraft and Halo videos so I didn't have a capture card so I did Minecraft but anyways I was making a channel then it said oh you already have uh, an account using this email so I'm like okay I tried a password and there we go heartgold57 so um, I made it I think like 2009 uh, mind you I was I was a lot smaller than I was today so I was actually really hyped for the new Pokemon games coming out Pokemon Heart Gold and Pokemon Soul Silver which um, I don't play as much Pokemon now as I used to obviously but if I were to recommend a Pokemon game it would be Heart Gold and Soul Silver they are the best Pokemon games um, <laughs> I've talked more about Pokemon in this uh, video than I have anything else have I uh, so yeah, I, I started making Minecraft content. Actually, no, I didn't start right away. I made a a slideshow about Call of Duty Black Ops 3. No, Black Ops 2, sorry. Black Ops 3 came out last year. Fuck, jeez. No, no, Black Ops 1, not Black Ops 2. Jeez, man. Give, pull it together. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the biggest Call of Duty guy, but back in the uh, Black Ops days, I, I liked Call of Duty Zombies. So, um, of course, I think it was like the day that... I forget what... Was it Resurrection? I completely forget what the DLC pack was, but it was a DLC pack that added the the moon map for zombies. And of course, we all thought that was the ending of zombies, and then Black Ops 2 and 3 came out. But, yes, yeah, so I made a slideshow talking about the story of zombies, and I, I did research. Uh, I don't think all my points are accurate. And yeah, it was just a slideshow with some uh, music in the background, because I believe the DLC actually came with some... Uh, a download code for like some mp3 tracks from zombies so I use some of that um, and then I went on to make some other videos none of them really I made some halo videos where I recorded it recorded it with a potato really crappy still better than reaction videos uh, <laughs> um, and then one day I made well, my Nintendo 3DS glitched out and it, it just it was stuck on the Okay, so if you have a 3DS, you know when you boot up a 3DS game that it kind of flashes 3DS for like a second, then boots up the game. It was stuck on that for like hours until the battery ran dry, and I made a video on that. <laughs> and I kind of got a ton of views. And back in those days, uh, okay, you see, let's talk about the history of YouTube so this works within uh, my story. So right now, search results are based on watch time so if you watch this entire video through and you don't click away there's a higher chance of this video being you know showing up in search results which is why I'm trying desperately to make my videos uh, not as long but 
Uh, this series has no rules, so I don't have to worry about that. So, right now it's watch time. It used to be uh, views, I believe. Yes, views. So people used to, you know, make... that. That's where the whole, you know, boobs and thumbnails kind of thing came up with, where you just click on a video, and then people are like, oh, it's a Rickroll, whatever, and yeah, they got the views, they're higher up in the search results now. Um, like, impossible titles and all that stuff. That's why Rickrolling was so popular back then, because it spread like wildfire because of the YouTube system. And then they changed it to ratings. Not likes, ratings. <laughs> so even dislikes could get you up higher in the search results. Um, that's also where the, you know, locking content behind like walls come, come came into play, where it's like, uh, my goal is to get 1,000 likes on this video. That all came into place to kind of boost up your search results in the YouTube algorithm. So my video, uh, I was a squeaker, you know. <laughs> Guys, Beth Judy, yes, it's still working. So I got a lot of dislikes because A, the glitch wasn't that big. I, I put huge or big 3DS glitch or whatever it's called. Uh, it's still on YouTube. Uh, I got a ton of dislikes, a ton of angry comments, and I couldn't be happier. Um, you could, like, that did the exact opposite of phasing me. I was so happy. I'm like, I feel dirty for keeping this video on YouTube because it's only getting more views. And it's because of that video initially that I got, uh, I was able to get partnered with YouTube. But anyways, after a while, I just started making Minecraft videos, nothing but Minecraft videos. Um, and that's where I got all my subscribers from. Uh, currently, it's sitting at, I think, 146, 147 subscribers. Uh, when I left the channel and stopped making videos for it, it was 115, so it's still growing. I might start making little bits of videos for it uh, once I hit 150. That's what I said on Twitter. Uh, again, if you don't follow me on Twitter, it's at Nicholas Gold. Uh, it should be in this description if I, if I don't... I'm pretty sure it's in this description. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. If not, it's on my channel. But... Yeah, well, then I started making Minecraft videos. And I learned the hard way that it is extremely hard to grow a channel uh, do, by doing Minecraft videos and the only way you really can is if you do collaborations with larger YouTubers that do Minecraft uh, videos and I did do a lot of collaborations like a crap ton of collaborations but basically all of them were lower uh, smaller you know smaller subscribers than me so I didn't gain anything from it I had a lot of fun don't get me wrong, I had a lot of fun with my uh, Minecraft channel, but it, it just didn't really work out. I obviously abandoned that for Edgemeister, but yes, I, I just basically made Minecraft videos. I did uh, Let's Plays, which are very, very, very oversaturated right now, and I believe I started making videos around the time Minecraft 1.2 came out, official release. Um, and that is after I've been playing since beta 1.7. Uh, I actually forgot what update I went, I uh, got it, but I checked on Mojang slash Mojang, depending on how you say it. I believe it's actually pronounced Mojang, but everybody says Mojang. I checked on Mojang's uh, website. On um, it says what date you started, you made your account. And it was like a day before Minecraft 1.7 came out, so <laughs> yeah, I, I came out with, I started one day with 1.6 and 1.7. So I've been playing Minecraft for a while now, uh, not as long as the YouTubers I've been watching, but uh, again, Chimney Swift, he's actually still going pretty strong, uh, Chimney Swift 11. I don't watch him as much as I used to. Uh, I loved it when he was doing some Halo videos, because I'm like, hey, I'm into Halo now, and I'm watching... Chimney Swift, the guy who inspired me to start doing YouTube videos. Him and the uh, Halo Forge Epidemic. Uh, Oakley High Def. For the win. Oh yeah. Um, so, yeah, obviously I I branded myself as a Halo YouTuber as well, even though I did zero Halo videos. Um, when Halo 4 was coming out, I, d I did a couple like news videos on it, I guess you could say. I re-uploaded some trailers. I uh, put some gameplay on my channel really low quality gameplay and yeah so that's basically what how I started with YouTube so that's 
that's why I felt like I got kind of a head start when starting Edgemeister because I I had been doing YouTube videos before. I I had been doing commentaries over Minecraft videos, live commentaries all the time. I had been doing Redstone. I had been doing a whole bunch of stuff. When I was really into Minecraft, I was kind of in all the aspects. I I loved doing the PVP. I loved doing survival. I loved doing Redstone. I loved doing uh, building. Um, what else would there be uh, in terms of Minecraft? I wasn't too big into doing mini games, and I, I kept I actually tried to force myself into doing mini games. Uh, so like I I would ah, I just I just didn't get into it because. I thought, okay, look, all these big YouTubers like Sky does Minecraft and stuff, they were all doing just mini games like Prison and stuff. So I thought, hey, I could do it, but I just didn't have the inspiration. I wanted to do uh, Let's Plays, which a Minecraft Let's Play is a little bit different than a normal Let's Play where, let's say if I did a Let's Play of Halo, I'd just be going through the campaign. But for Minecraft, it's just you playing survival. That's basically what it is. Um, right off the bat, I did really bad, like, nothing happened, but later on, I'm like, okay, things have to happen in these episodes, I have to get builds done, so I started doing a lot more work into each of the episodes, and I started putting a lot of work into the episodes, and, uh, I used Fraps, which, the Elgato, uh, capture card actually makes a lot, um, uh, not, not as big of a files, <laughs> like, for, say, like, a 15 minute video of, for Minecraft, it created, like, a 30 gigabyte file so that, that it was nuts I definitely didn't pump out as much videos as I do with Edgemeister definitely and I used to upload more I used to upload every day with Edgemeister now I'm trying to upload every second day uh, and even that's pushing it uh, I'm not feeling very inspired I will talk about that in a different video though uh, I talked about it a little bit before but now it's for a different reason um so yeah, uh, the people who I did videos with would be uh, what, what I call just the Puerto Ricans. That's, that's what I call them as a group because, <laughs> well, it's, it's it's pretty simple. The reason why because they're all from Puerto Rico. <laughs> uh, who would have guessed? But uh, that'd be Andres, Eric, Brian, uh, sometimes Daniel. Not very much Daniel. Uh, am, I, am I missing anyone? I think I'm. No, I think that's all. Uh, the main three would be Andres, Brian, and Eric. The very first person who I ever did a dual commentary with would be Eric slash PSP3000 Nerd. Uh, he doesn't upload to that anymore. Right now he uploads to a channel called Pixel3000 Nerd. At the moment he's, I think he has over 2,000 subscribers, so he's a lot larger than me at the moment. Um, <laughs> but I, I had like some pride because I'm like, hey, I'm way bigger than this guy and now he's way bigger than me. And Shut up. Go away. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, he was, I think, the very first subscriber on this channel, so I'm still very grateful for that, Eric. Uh, and yeah, I, I'd recommend you all go subscribe to him. Uh, he does PMV videos. Uh, they're basically just uh, pseudo animations to music. He's part of, I think he's part of a like a chat, another channel as well. Uh, yeah. Speaking of being a part of another channel, we kind of had this group going. Uh, we eventually added more people, but it wasn't very, very active. Um, we called it Golden Craft because, of course, I was heart gold. Uh, Golden Craft started as my let's play single player, and then I made it a uh, made it a multiplayer after watching Hermit Craft and Mindcrack. I started getting uh, really, really interested in doing a multiplayer uh, series. So I learned how to make a server, and I made a server, and I got all the people from Golden Craft on. Now the only problem with that that is uh, it was a personal server on mine, like it. It, there's no hosting or anything, so it was only online whenever I made it online. So uh, that I was rich on the server because obviously I play whenever the server's on. But everyone else kind of had to work around my schedule, so that wasn't the greatest. And then eventually, uh, Minecraft Realms came out, and it it came to beta in Canada first for a discount. So, because of that, not a lot of other YouTubers, because most of the YouTubers were from the, the uh, United States, so they didn't get the beta, because, yeah, I'm Canadian, so I, get the, I got the uh, Minecraft Realms beta. So I made a server on Minecraft Realms, and that was a lot better, in my opinion. Um, some people got attached to that server. I, I, I was just thinking of it as, like, a, a side server. But I eventually uh, created another 
Nether world, and I, we really wanted to work with that. Uh, I had a friend in the Minecraft server biz, it, it, ser smaller servers, but uh, he was able to actually get Goldencraft onto an actual server, and I was so happy about that. But I think like after only like a month or so, uh, his server went downhill, and we had to. I think it was when the the updated Eula came out for the uh, the whole server business stuff. So he was making a whole lot less money off of that. They couldn't support the server, and uh, that server kind of went downhill. Goldencraft kind of died there. And that's around the time that I started getting interested in Halo once again. Um, because that's around the time that they announced Halo the Master Chief Collection, I believe. So I was excited. Uh, I was going to get an Xbox, and I did obviously get an Xbox. So... Yeah, so at this point, I was doing pseudo Minecraft videos. Uh, I wasn't very inspired to do the videos at that point. And I thought, I, I thought, okay, I need to freshen things up. So I made a plan where it's like, okay, every second day, upload Minecraft. Every second day, uh, you know, maybe every third day, upload a video to Edgemeister. So I started the Edgemeister channel uh, like a day before. Before I got my capture card, I went ahead and ordered a capture card online, and then I recorded a few videos on a 360. Eventually, got an Xbox One and started doing Destiny videos. And at that point, and a Halo 3 ODST Let's Play on my 360, which is now in multiple pieces in a box in the corner. I'll, I could show it to you guys eventually. I'm not going to do that in this video, but um, yeah, man, this this whole thing's coming to a close. So this. This is kind of the death of the Heart Gold 57 and the death of Golden Craft. Um, I still consider uh, myself friends with all of them. I, I talk with all the, the Puerto Ricans a lot less than I used to. But uh, some of them are, did end up showing up, especially Andres in uh, Edgemeister, but that's another story. He, he was in Le Left 4 Dead series. If you watch, go back and watch my Left 4 Dead videos, you'll see Andres in there. Um, also, we have a video, Meet An Ultra Avenger, and I also have some other videos like saying Story Andres and stuff, where I just make fun of his vlogs. Because <laughs> it seems like every single one of his new videos is just like a vlog saying, Sorry, I'm back. Just kidding, he uploaded a whole series on something. But, none nonetheless, I thought, okay, Edgemeister's going to be a side channel, uh, Heart Gold is still the larger channel. But, things started to be different when... Uh, I uploaded my very first Halo Forge video for Master Chief Collection. And I thought I was so clever because I made a, a video planning out a map before the game came out. So people were getting some Forge content before it came out. And it's not, it wasn't clickbait. It was legitimately me planning out a multiplayer map. So uh, it really got the hype train going. And of course, like day one, Master Chief Collection came out. I started working on the map, which was a great idea. For, I'm, I'm very very happy for myself um me doing that um so yeah that's kind of how uh things started off and i started growing very rapidly then uh i hit 20 subscribers i'm like holy crap it took me months to get 20 subscribers on heart gold and i got it in like one month in edgemeister and then 100 came up and i'm like holy crap we're about i was working on heart gold for three years and here is Edgemeister coming up right out of the blue within m months, like two or three months, getting larger than the channel I worked on for three years. That was sad, kind of, but it, I was so happy and I was so inspired. And at that point in time, I was a little bit sad. Um, I'm not going to say why, but I, I wasn't the happiest then, so that really brought me up a lot. Um... I'm not re really a sad person, so I wasn't that sad, but it, it really helped that I had this amazing thing called Edgemeister, who was uh, this part of me that played Halo and Destiny that was entertaining people and bringing me happiness and community. So um, I ended up getting up to 10 subscribers a day for a while. And I miss those days a lot. Ten subscribers a day. That was amazing. And I had ten sub about ten subscribers a day until I hit like four hundred and then I had like five subs a day until five hundred. And then and then I kinda got bored of MCC and went downhill, but I'm not gonna talk too much about that. 
but yeah around the like 100 subscribers point I made a video saying I'm not dead on hard gold and then around like 200 or 300 subs on edge Meister, I'm like okay edge Meister is bringing me community it's bringing me happiness and it's it was a lot easier and faster to produce videos for it that were higher quality so it's bonus 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 so I'm like okay I'm just gonna take a break from Minecraft forever I stopped doing Minecraft videos I uploaded several videos uh, in duration of months apart from each other just saying hey I'm not gonna be uploading to Edge to Hardcore 57 people are still subscribing to it so I must be I must have done something right if I'm not uploading any videos and people are still subscribing but yes yeah, so that that's kind of where I decided Heart gold is only really bringing me down um, it was only dream like dreams oh well, actually with edgemeister it's dreams with heart gold it was fantasies whereas I don't think I could have ever done what I thought I was gonna do with heart gold which would be you know get a million subs or whatever but my dreams for edgemeister to get like a good hundred thousand subs 200,000 subs and I believe that could be reality one day and that is the only reason why I'm continuing to do this it, I'm I'm not measuring success on subs I'm the thing is the more subscribers you have the more of a community you have so uh, really if you want to grow a community like that 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 was my goal when starting YouTube I wanted to create a community I wanted people to uh, if I wanted to do like a game that to just invite a whole bunch of people which I still can't really do at the moment but like a hey if I wanted to do like a raid I could do it with a whole bunch of community members which I can't really do that right now but that, that, that was, that's my goal I want to I want to just create a community and I want to be connected with a whole bunch of other amazing people and do a whole bunch of collaborations which is something that I need to start doing more of collaborations so um, I'm gonna force myself to start contacting other youtubers and doing collaborations um, I want I would like to join a group channel that'd be really awesome to just join a community as well and br introduce the community members to myself and to my community that'd be ideal and just a quick note to anyone who's making a youtube channel who uh they don't think is working out or maybe they're they think oh i'm too young people are gonna hate on me just make one anyways like if you're not doing very well do what i did and just start another one with your experience um, don't get put, you know, set down that, oh, you know, this one already has a head start, now I can't switch off and go anywhere else. No, you can switch off and go where, anywhere else you want. You can just do what I did. Just start a new channel and have it grow faster and bigger. And that's all I have to say. Um, yeah, that's kind of my, my, my past story with YouTube. So I really, really do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you watch to the end, post, um, let's see. Banana apples. No, no, don't. What should you post if you watch the whole thing? I don't know. Just okay. Answer my question. Don't put the question in the comments so that people get confused. What is your favorite thing to cover within to cover in chocolate? So I would have to say caramel covered chocolate, like just chocolate and car like caramel with chocolate over it or maybe like uh those like coffee crisp like um not coffee kiss kit, kit kat like the wafers covered in chocolate those i think those would be my favorite things covered in chocolate so uh, don't put the question down just don't, don't put like my favorite thing covered in chocolate is no just put like i don't know bananas like you like chocolate covered bananas just put bananas down in the description you like chocolate covered uh almonds put almonds down in the description I'm allergic to almonds, so don't put almonds, because then you'll kill me. <laughs> yeah, so just confuse people with your answers to that question. What is your favorite thing covered in chocolate? I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. If this is your first video and you're like, holy crap, this guy's amazing, go ahead and subscribe. If this is your first video and you don't watch to this end, then that means you don't think I'm amazing and you want to kill me. Thank you. Thank you for that. Bye.